Here's how to animate text in Canva. First of all, we will create a new design by clicking here in the top right corner of the screen and then we will just choose video. Once we are ready, we will head over here to the photos tab in the left side and I will choose a random picture here, drag and drop that inside of our project and right click it and set image as background. To add some text, simply press T on your keyboard. Then I'm going to resize that element, double click it, I will make it bold here. Uh, I will just reposition it so that it's in the middle of the screen, maybe make it a little bit bigger, reposition again. And now to animate that text, simply click on the text and then click here on animate. And choose one of the free animations here. So I will just choose rice, click on that. And now to preview our animation, I will simply press here on play and you will see that you have a slide now with some animated text. Now let us have a look at how to animate text over multiple slides. First of all, I will go into the photos library and choose a random picture and drag and drop it inside of our project. I will right click it and set image as background. Now to get some text onto our project, I will simply press T on the keyboard. I will make that a little bit bigger and I will reposition it into the middle of the screen and also make it bold. Maybe make it a bit bigger again and make sure that it's in the middle of the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this page by simply clicking here on that duplicate page symbol. Now I'm going to adjust our text here on the first slide. So I would like it to read Majitudes. I will make sure that's in the middle of the screen. And now I'm going to scroll down and on our second um, slide, I would like the text to say presents. And here as well, I will make sure that's in the middle of the screen. Now to animate those two texts, I will simply click on the first text here and then click here on animate. And I want it to rise, so I will choose this rise animation here and simply click on it. For the second slide, I would actually like to have the same, so I will click on presents and will choose rise here as well. And now all that is left for us to do is to preview our project. And you will see that we now have rising text in our project containing two slides. This is how you animate text over multiple slides. At this point, it is important to note that um, Canva will animate your text based on how many text elements you got on your slide. So if we have multiple text elements on a single slide, Canva will animate each of these text elements given that you have actually chosen an animation for each of these text elements. To illustrate that, let me just um, duplicate here Majitudes and I will just change the text here into now. As we duplicated it, it already applied the rise effect because that's the effect that I had chosen for Majitudes. But if I would like to change that, I will go here inside of rise and I will choose something else, maybe pan. And now let's preview the project again. And as you can see now, we will have both animations here on the first slide and then one more animation on the second slide. You have probably noticed that it takes quite a long time for the second slide to appear. Well, that's not a big problem because we can actually adjust the slide duration for each and every slide. So to do that, um, make sure for the first slide we will click here on the clock symbol and I will change that into two seconds and click on done. Now I will scroll down, click on the second slide and here as well that clock symbol will appear and you can also adjust here the timing for the second slide. I will put that here to two seconds as well and click on done. And now let us just preview the project again. And as you can see the second slide now appears much faster giving everything a much better flow. And that's it, how to animate text in Canva over multiple slides. Let us now answer the question, how to animate text in Canva video projects. For this purpose, I will go to create the design first and then click here on video. Now I will head over here in the video section 
and I will choose a random video here, drag and drop that inside of our project, right click it and set video as background. Now by pressing T on the keyboard, I can simply insert a text element onto our project. I will resize that a little bit to make it more visible. And then I will also reposition it here in the middle. Double click it, make it bold, make it a little bit bigger again. Reposition again. And let's say I would like it to read uh, Mushy Toots. So I will just write that. And now to animate this text, all you need to do is click here on animate and then choose a certain animation. Some of these are only available for premium members. So the premium member ones, they have a crown here in the lower right corner of the element. So you can only use them if you have Canva Pro. So now we are on Canva free. So I'm just going to choose maybe the pan effect here and to preview our project now simply click here on the play button and you will see that when we start playing our project here um, our text will be panned in that's exactly what we want so this is how you animate text in canva video projects when you only have one slide but where it actually gets interesting is when you want to animate text in canva video projects when using several slides the thing here is that when you have multiple slides, you obviously need to make sure that the video is still playing correctly. So let's say if you have three slides, then for the second and for the third slide, you need to make sure that the video will continue playing where it stopped after the first slide. And for the third slide, you need to make sure that it will continue playing where the second slide stopped. Now to demonstrate that point, the first thing I will do is I will click here on duplicate page and I will do that once again so that in total here we have three slides. As you can see here in this box, um, the video plays for 10.7 seconds and that is actually the case for each and every slide because each slide now plays the whole video. But that's obviously not what we want. We want to make sure that each slide just plays a part of the video. So to do that, we will first adjust here um, the duration of the video in slide one. So I will just click on that and I will make sure here to stop the video first. And now I will go to the end of this video here until the left arrow appears and I will drag that back and we'll make sure this is only playing for, let's say, two seconds. So now the first slide with this video will only play for two seconds. Now I will click on the second slide here and I will make sure that this video only starts playing after two seconds and plays for another two seconds because we don't want to repeat the video content from the first slide, obviously. So make sure the second video uh, slide here is selected go into that menu here again and then you will choose here um, the start point at two seconds that's where we ended the first slide and then we want that for two seconds so until four seconds now i will do the same for our last slide here and in this case obviously we want to start at uh, four and finish at six so for the first slide here, we have from zero to two. For the second slide here, we have from two to four. And for the third slide, we have from four to six. That looks good. Now we obviously also need to adjust the text here that we would like to animate. So the first one is saying Maji Toots and the second one I will just change to now and the third one to Presents. And as you maybe remember for the first one here, we have already set um, a pan effect as far as the animation goes. Now for the second one, this is also already set to pan because as you probably remember, we duplicated the first page. So also the animations are taken over. And this is also the case for the third slide here, which is also set to pan. So now let us preview what that gives us by clicking here on the play button. And as you can see, this actually works perfectly. 
So this is how you animate text in Canva video projects. Now, if you would like to do letter by letter animation in a Canva video project, here's how you do it. We have a blank project here. So the first thing I would do is I go to the video section here and I will choose a random video from there and drag and drop that inside of our project. I will then right click it and set video as background. Now the next step is to actually insert a text box and I can do that by pressing T on the keyboard. I'm going to resize our text box here and I will delete the text and change this into just one single letter. Uh, I would like to animate the name Daniel so for our first slide I will just um, write D. I will reposition that a bit and will make it bigger. And now the next step is to choose here file and show and then go to show margins. I'm doing this because I need to make sure that I can perfectly position this first letter. Now the way we will actually achieve this letter by letter animation in a Canva video project is to make sure that for each slide only one letter is displaying. So as the name Daniel has actually six letters, we will need six video slides. So the next step is to duplicate the page here in the top right corner. And I will do that a couple of times until we have a total of six slides. Once we have done that, um, we will have to adjust the text, obviously. So we have the D here for our first slide. So for our second slide here, I will make sure that it will, it will display two letters. So I will make sure it displays D and A and I will reposition that until it fits perfectly. And then I will do that for the other slides as well. Once you have done that for all the slides, we are actually ready to preview our project. Simply click on the play button to do so. As you can see, it takes us a very long time to get from one letter to the next one. That is because the duration of each slide is now set at a standard of five seconds. So we have to fix that. So I will go to close here. And now what I'm gonna do is I will scroll up here to our first slide. And as you can see here, the duration of this slide is even 10.4 seconds because it actually plays the whole video. So we obviously don't want that. So I will go in there and then I will go to the end of the, um, of the video here and we'll make sure the left arrow shows and I will crop the video like that to let's say two seconds. So like this, I can make sure only the first two seconds of that video play. Now the trick to make this work is obviously that for the second um, slide here, I will also have to adjust um, the duration of the slide, but I have to make sure that it continues where the first slide stopped. So as you surely remember, we set the other one for the first two seconds. So now here I will change the starting point to two seconds and adjust the end point here to four seconds. Now. All that is left for you to do is to adjust that for the four other slides as well. So I'm simply going to do that now. Once you have adjusted that for all these pages, we will preview again. And as you can see now, we actually got that letter by letter animation done in our Canva video project. So this is how you actually do it. Of course, you can play with the parameters and you can set maybe the duration of each slide to just maybe one second if you would like to show these letters faster. Also, it needs to be noted that in the preview, the video often seems very laggy. However, when you download the date, everything will run much smoother. Also, it needs to be said that Canva is not really an animation software. So if you want very professional results with something like that, it's probably better for you to use some other software instead.
Another way to use animated text in Canva is to actually use stickers. For certain words, you can find animated stickers that you can use out of the box. To find these kind of stickers, go to the Elements tab here and then, and then simply search for the desired text, maybe something like buy. And you can see that in this case here, we got a few different animations that you can choose from for the word buy or something similar. You can always also click here on that filter symbol and make sure to tick here the option animated so that only animated elements will show. After that, click on apply filters. The choice of animated stickers is obviously limited, especially in Canva free, but for like very easy and common words, you can always have a look if you can find something that fits. Let us just make another try here. I will just uh, maybe write LOL. And as you can see here, here as well, you have like two animated versions of LOL that you can use conveniently in your projects. If you would like to have an overview of all the stickers, you can also just simply choose stickers here from that menu and all the stickers that are available will show. And you will see that there are quite a lot of animated stickers and some of them contain some text. Unfortunately, it is not possible to change the text of those stickers. So when you click on it, you won't have that option to change the text. So this only works if you can find a Canva sticker that has the exact text that you need. Now let us have a look at how to animate text on the Canva mobile app. First of all, we will simply open up Canva. Now, once you see the home screen, you basically have two options. You can either choose an existing template or you could just start your new design and then animate text in it. For the moment, we will choose a pre-existing template and to do that, we will go first into animated social media. And from here, let's say we like this um, design with the sun on it. So I will just click on that. And as you can see, the sun itself here is already animated, but the text isn't. However, you can also um, animate um, all of these text elements if you wish. To do so, simply tap on the text and then at the bottom of the screen, simply slide to the left until you can see animation. Now all that is left for you to do is to choose a certain animation. Um, in my case here, I will try block animation. So I'll just tap on that. To make sure that this works, we can now preview our project by, play, by clicking on the play button at the top of the screen. And now we will find that the text animation has been properly applied to our word sunshine. If you prefer to animate text by first creating your own design, then from the home screen, simply click on the plus in the lower right corner of the screen and then choose a certain type of project. You can also choose custom size. That's what I'm going to do now. And I will maybe you just use 1280 by 720 pixels. So I'll just click on that. And now Canva is still showing me several templates, but if you don't want to use a template, simply press on the cross at the bottom of the screen. And now we finally have an empty project opened on our phone. To add some text, click on the plus button in the lower left corner of the screen. Then tap on text. To keep it simple, I will simply tap on add a heading. Now to add a text animation to our text, at the bottom of the screen, just slide to the left and choose animate. From here, choose one of the available text animations, for example, rice. And this will be applied immediately to our text. To see that this is true, simply play on the play button um, at the top of the screen. And once we press play, we will see that we have this rising text animation applied to our text. That's it guys. This is how to animate text on the Canva mobile app. If you indeed enjoyed this video, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. And in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!